the last day of campaigns, 48 hours to the 2022 general election. It was a show of might across the political divide as they both held their final submissions today with the referee, that is IEBC, blowing the final campaign whistle ahead of Tuesday's polls. Now, very good evening to you and welcome to TV47 Weekend. We've got plenty lined up for you here tonight. Do send us your feedback at TV47 Kenya across all social media platforms with 22047 being our SMS line. But before that, let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Tonight, curtains come down on campaigns. With Odinga and Ruto making final appeals to Kenyans. Ruto insists there will be no handshake. In fact, the handshake problem, the problem with the handshake is that it created a system that enabled state capture with odinga saying his options are open i will shake the hand if i win and i will shake the hand if i don't these as the iebc warns of dire consequences for those who will campaign after 6 p.m on saturday Aganos Waihiga Mwaore takes his final pitch to Isili. Tuchagwe kiongozi ambaye ataleta pesa zetu. Bring our money back. As Roots Party's Wajakoya insists he is not supporting Azimio. Alapu wengine nao wanaanza kusema atye at Wajakoya anajoin Azimio. These as his deputy remains a no show in his campaign. President Uhuru Kenyatta makes his final appeal to Mount Kenya, using the visit to caution the people of the mountain against voting for his number two. Welcome to the broadcast. Our sign language interpreter is Anwai Rimo and I am Mufani Maine. Now, as Imiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition presidential candidate Railo Dinga made his final pitch to voters at the Moy International Sports Center, Kasarani, ahead of the close of campaigns for the general election. As Mike Kagongo reports, thousands of Azimio supporters thronged the venue to get a glimpse of Odinga's blueprint. <laughs> As curtains close on political campaigns in the country, front runners in the presidential elections are leaving no stone unturned in their last minute efforts to woo voters. At the Moi International Sports Center Kasaran in Nairobi, Kenyans from all walks of life turned in large numbers to hear their leaders' final submissions. And after frenetic campaigns across the country in the last several months, Azimiolo Umoja One Kenya presidential flag bearer Raila Odinga arrived at Kasarani Stadium to a rousing welcome. <laughs> the excited supporters who donned the Azimio Coalition Party colors regalia of blue and orange marched into the stadium with their preferred presidential candidate causing a bit of snarl up as the fleet of vehicles made their way. <laughs> Odinga, who was accompanied by his running mate Mother Karua and a host of allied leaders, entered the 60,000-seater stadium, which also marked the beginning of his campaigns on the 10th of December last year. Like the president he wishes to become if elected, Odinga made a lap of honor around the stadium to greet the thrilled crowd akin to the tradition of the head of state during national holidays. Thank you also for standing with me in the many years of struggle to liberate Kenya. Thank you for the battles you have fought together. The journey has been long, but I have not fought alone or felt lonely. I wish you well. I wish you lots and lots of God's blessings. And may you vote in peace 
We meet you again next time to celebrate the effort of your work. In his final speech, the former premier maintained that should he be elected the fifth president of this country, his mission will be to liberate Kenyans from the bondage of corruption that has since stagnated development projects. Campaign to Mepanya, interview to Mepanya. Ile Mebaki, Ninini Muidinishe, Divio Rais Watano, Raila Molo Odinga, Achukue Ushukani Kwanchietu, Analeta Ukombozi. Odinga said as Imiolo Moja One Kenya was the only outfit with Kenyans at heart, urging everyone registered as a voter to turn up in large numbers Tuesday. To vote for change. A call for peace and voter turn up dominated the better part of Saturday afternoon in Kasarani as Odinga's allies took the opportunity to woo the voters. Wow, ameamua kwa kauli moja, kwamba siku ya jumaine. Wana matatu ona aso atabeba wa Kenya wakampigie Raila Molo Odinga Kura. Odinga's supporters who made it to the historical stadia displayed optimism ahead of Tuesday's general election, insisting that it was his moment to make his way to the house on the hill. Around here, tuko na akika, tuko na akika 100%. Baba anakuja kukua rais wa Kenya. As in sitting at Samaruto ni mbaya, but wache baba shikili yapo. Baba mjenge Kenya kwanza. Ya kamu nyuma. Sasa baba niko shua akikuja, atatimiza kusapa mekua kitamani ikiti for a very long time. Well, 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 well. According to IEBC regulation, political candidates should culminate campaigns two days to the poll day. It has been a long journey of more than three months since May 22nd this year. And Odinga will be hoping to be supported by more than 15 million Kenyans. This coming Tuesday, Mike Kagwongo TV 47 at Kasarani Stadium, Nairobi. Thank you, Kagongo, for that report. Now, Deputy President William Ruto has maintained that there will be no handshake with his rivals if he ascends to the presidency. This is after Odinga hinted at the possibility of reaching out for a handshake deal, whatever the outcome of the election. Speaking during the last campaign rally in Nyayo National Stadium, the DP has reiterated that he can perform even better than his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Paul Kirobi reports. As curtains come down on campaigns, Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade led by UDS presidential candidate William Ruto have watered down the idea of a handshake hinted by his rival Raila Odinga on his final rally at the Kasarani Stadium, saying it is a handshake that created a system to curtail his state house bid. The second in command has urged Kenyans to entrust him with an opportunity to lead the country, vowing to perform better than his boss, President Uru Kenyatta. I am very confident that this country will move forward. I am very confident that you know my capacity. I, I do not want you to fear. You have nothing to fear because I will respect the foundation you built. I will respect the things we did together, but I will build on that foundation. And my friend, it is going to be phenomenal. I know you know that it is going to be phenomenal. Mr. President, Outgoing president and chairman of the Azimio Council, listen to me, my brother. We knelt down to pray for you over your ICC cases. You have impoverished the people of Kenya. 
You have made the people of Kenya to suffer. Ruto's allies who accompanied him to make his final submissions sustained claims of election rigging earlier made by the deputy president, which they say are being promoted by the government. Kenya will be a new country, devoid of cartels, devoid of state capture, devoid of destruction of state machinery, it's devoid of destruction of constitutional offices. Now Kenya wameamua never again shall this country give power to a person who is so incompetent, who is so hateful, who is so I can't I don't want to use that word. I want to tell the public servants, senior public servants, my chief, my DC, county commissioners, regional coordinators. You know how many Kenyans went to ICC. Don't, don't make your place in ICC. We are watching you. You will carry the cross. Uru Kenyatta has used public servant in the last five years. Ruto's victory on the 9th of August, that is next week, will not be complete until every vote has gone to the ballot. The second in command urged Kenyans not to be intimidated and buy threats from their opponent. This comes even as a section of Ruto supporters claim that their lives are in danger. <laughs> With just two days left for the August 9th general election to be conducted across the country, Deputy President William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanza team has promised not to undermine the constitution if at all Kenya Kwanza coalition forms the next government or they lose. Paul Kirobi, TV47, Nyayo Stadium, Nairobi. Earlier, the deputy president made a last-minute dash to parts of Maimahiu in Nakuru County in last-minute efforts to consolidate the region to firmly rally behind him, just like in 2017 when the region voted overwhelmingly for the Jubilee ticket. Our reporter, Willie Dennis Njiru, with the story. <laughs> Hours to his final pitch to Kenyans at the Nyayo National Stadium, Deputy President William Ruto made a final dash to the Mount Kenya region, touring parts of Maimahio in Mount Kenya East in a last-minute bid to rally the region that is one of the key deciders of who becomes the next tenant at State House. Ile SGR tulilete hapa, hatukulete SGR iende kwa shamba ya mtu. Tulilete SGR ili faidi watu wa Kenya kwa sababu hapa naivasha tutakuwa na industrial city ya mambo ya leather na mambo ya textile. Muna nielewa? The choice to make the last minute dash to the region, perhaps the latest indication that the Kenya Kwanza team is leaving nothing to chance at a time when the mountain is seemingly leaning towards his political rival who has also made significant trips to the region ahead of Tuesday's vote. <laughs> Na chief yote ama dio yote mwenye nimpiga kura apige kura kwa amani si ndio but msitikie kutumiwa vibaya na serikali inaenda nyumbani badala ya siku mbili ile wakati sasa ya kupiga kura umefika na wale wanajaribu kusema wataujumu haki ya wakenya kuchakuwa mwenye anachakuliwa kuwa rais William Ruto Sasa wameambulia batupu. We are warning you that you cannot circumvent the will of the people of Kenya. Sio ni sawa. Siwaamuzi ni nyinyi. Si nyinyi mtaamua. The DP accompanied by his allies used the rally to sell his manifesto and making pledges of lifting the region's economy. Wale wakora ambao wanataka kutumia SGR kulete vita kati ya watu na Naivasha na Mombasa tumesema ile port operation wakora kama Joho na wengine walitumia wamelete hapa Nairobi kujinufaisha wenyewe tutarudisha hiyo port operation Mombasa lakini industrial city tunajenga hapa Naivasha ili vijana wa hapa 
wapate ajira na tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja Earlier in the day the DP made a passionate appeal to the people of Kenya from his current residence where he called on Kenyans to turn up in large numbers on Tuesday and discover the power of their vote We have overcome the so-called system we have overcome the so-called deep state and the people of Kenya today stand tall and Tuesday is going to be defining Tuesday is going to be a great day while insisting that he's Kenya's best bet the DP stated that the will of the people will be determined at the ballot and not by the deep state or the system <laughs> After the Nyayo National Stadium rally, the DP headed to Kiambu. In a move, pundits argue is to counter his boss move to also tour the Mount Kenya region on his farewell. Ukumbuke. For TV47, I'm Willie Dennis Njiru. Utabeba peke yako kama chief. Thank you, Dennis, for that report. Still on the political helm, as nationwide campaigns came to a close today, candidates were busy in various parts of the country in last-minute attempts to ask Kenyans to side with their bids. Chichi Josephine now with the last-minute campaign efforts across the country. What is America? With 48 hours to the August 9th general election, residents and political leaders from Nandi and Kisi counties have come out to champion for a peaceful election with a rallying call to leaders to accept whichever outcome in the poll. This is to keep a cura at a piggy chama to na piggy, mutu and bat na joke one bakesho at a tenganezema barabara at a pair one inch kama nikuna CDF nini nini. Usaidizi. In Nakuru County, professionals from all communities threw their weight behind Governor Lee Kinyanjui's re-election bid, saying he needs to build on the foundation he started in his first term. We see a situation whereby the current leadership of the county, Lee Kinyanjui, His Excellency the President, and the incoming fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, Raila Amolo Odinga, share a common goal. And this goal is to return Nakuru County to where it was. That's why today as Nakuru professionals, we want people who can help us do our professional work by touching many lives. A test of that is Governor Lee Kenyanjui, my boss, and my boss to be from 9th. In Migori County, youth from Suna West, led by Ben Migori, mobilized residents in Nyanza to vote for Raila Odinga and ensure he clinches power in the next general election. We should always come out on 9th of August in the morning to vote Raila Molodinga so that we can have a prosperity in our country, Kenya. In Bomet County, Governor Professor Hilary Bachok ended his campaigns at Silibut Stadium, where he called on residents to be peaceful on election day as he drummed up support for election of UDA candidates. The fifth president atakuwa William Samoe Arabuta. Ya pili, ningependa kuwaomba wenyeji wa Bomet na wa Kenya wote kwa jumula. Tuchitokeze mapema na sisi sote tupike kura 100%. Limoro incumbent member of parliament Peter Mwadi warned those intending to disrupt the elections by creating fear in the communities living in Rift Valley region. Watu wengine wanatisha wengine ati kusema o jamii fulani itatolewa hapa musipopiga kura na muna hii siju njini mutapata na muna hii skari wako tayari na watafanya kazi ya. Elsewhere, a section of youth in Kiambu and Muranga counties have announced that they will assist the sick and the elderly in the two regions to get to the polling stations as they seek to ensure Azimio presidential candidate Raila Odinga amasses more votes. Tunaambia watu wetu siku ya Juma 4 ndio tunapiga kura. Watu wajitokeze kwa wingi. Ndio tuweza kupiga kura tuchague serikali ya baba na mama ambayo itatupeleka mbele. The youths under the Mama na Baba Kiambu and Muranga Youth Forum said they have mobilized energetic youths in the region who will be assisting residents and especially those in the remote places get to the polling stations in the polls slated for Tuesday next week. Chichi Josephine TV 47. <laughs> 
Now, Roots Party presidential candidate George Wajakoya has today laid his final submissions to his potential electorate. During his campaigns in Westland and Parkland areas, he took the chance to deny allegations of him endorsing Azimir's Raila Odinga, citing propaganda. <laughs> 48 hours to the deciding moment for the Kenyan electorate, various political leaders vying for different elective positions today submitted their final bid seeking support to win in the polls. <laughs> Campaigning in Parklands and Westlands areas in Nairobi for his final rally, Roots Party presidential candidate Professor George Wajakoya has denied allegations that he has thrown his weight behind the Azimio Laumoja presidential hopeful Raila Odinga. Alafu wengine nao anaanza kusema ati hey, ati wajakoya anajoin Azimio. Si mmeona leo wameandika ati wajakoya anakuja. Kumbe ni ule wajakoya mwingine ule mameni. Huyo jamaa, huyo jamaa juzi nimemdunga saa ya ya, ya, ya beikali. Manake ni mameni mhasola. Aliamka tu akaniangalia, akapiga hesabu, akasema I'm 65 years old na huyo wajakoya ni 62. Nitafanyaje niwe kama yeye? Jamaa anaendeshanga ndudi. Jamaa kajipanga his running mate Justina Wamai, however, did not show up in the campaign trail, contrary as it used to be, alarming a possible rift within the Roots Party. Thank you. Wajakoya instead urged his supporters to keep on supporting his presidential bid while reiterating that Kenyans should choose leaders who relate with their issue. I also want to tell Kenyans to vote whoever they want. If it's Ruto, Cast your vote. If it's Raila, cast your vote. If it's Wajakoya, cast your vote. At the same breath, the Roots Party presidential hopeful admitted that he will accept the election outcome if the polls are conducted in a free, fair manner. If you feel like Wajakoya has done this, vote for him. But don't fight. Don't become tribal. Because I've introduced Ganja society. It will never be uprooted by anybody. Those who are in my society, the Ganja revolution will not die, even if the Ganja people need to lose the election. Paul Munio TV 47. Still on the final campaign call, Agano party leader David Wahigamaure has today promised to revive the economy if elected president on Tuesday. Maore, who took his last campaigns to some parts of Nairobi, said that he was the best fit for the country. His running mate, on the other hand, noted that women and youth will be involved in the decision-making of their government. Stanley Nyarigita has more. Agano Party presidential candidate David Wahiga Maure took his last campaigns to Isili, Uthiru, Githrai before winding up in Kangemi, where he hails in a bit to woo voters to elect him as the next president on Tuesday. <laughs> Maure faulted his opponents, UDA Party leader Deputy President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga for the lack of a track record on alleviating the pain and suffering of Kenyans despite being in government for years. <laughs> Mahari Kenya iko, tunakuja kubadilisha. Tuko na pesa. Sijinyi mnafanya kazi kwa nguvu hapa kangemi. Tuko na rasirimari. The ordained minister also promised Kenyans that he will bring back the money stashed in foreign accounts so as to boost the country's economy. Kuna tumaini kwa sababu kijana enyu, watu wa kangemi akondani. Kangemi inatoa raisi, inatoa haitoi. Ya piri, Kenya ni inchi chajiri. Tuchagwe kiongozi ambaye ataleta pesa zetu. Bring our money back. Ati nini? Bring our money back. Again, bring our money back. The Agano deputy presidential candidate, Ruth Wamai, on her part, rallied the women and youth to turn up in large numbers to vote in a government that cares for the people. According to her, the two groups will be actively involved in the decision making. I daji watu watete wa mama pale ndani. Na ndiposa nilikubali niingie pale ndani nitete wa mama na nitete vijana wa mama sako yeze kutukubali bila documents pia wanarika wanaitisho experience ya 3 years 
Kutafuta kazi. With just two days left to Tuesday, the Agano team urged Kenyans to maintain peace during and after the polls. Stanley Nyerungita, TV 47, Nairobi. Now, the clergy in Nakuru North want security agencies to take firm action against individuals who will attempt to disrupt the election process next week. Chichi Josephine with more. The men of cloth under the leadership of AIPCEA, Nakuru North Diocese Bishop Naftali Karioke, says security organs must work to ensure that every eligible voter exercises their democratic right without fear. Tunaomba serikali iwe macho kuchokolia ya yote hatua bila kujali dini mamlaka na ukubwa yeyote atakaye ingiza inchi hii kwenye shida achukuliwe hatua he was speaking in Bahati during a joint prayer session that brought together AIPCEA clergy and faithful aimed to dedicate the country to God for a peaceful election ningependa kusema kama askofu wa diocese hii maneno yanayotamkwa na viongozi huenda saa zingine Yakakosa kutupa amani katika inchi ya Kenya. On the other hand, politicians in Nakuru use their rush hour politics to emphasize on the importance of peace ahead, during and after elections. Tunauliza wanasiasa, kokote waliko, kokote wanapopiga siyasa zao, waweze kujua ya kwamba eneo letu la bunge, tuko na wanainchi makabira tofauti, na tunawauliza wasiweze kubaguana sababu ya misingi ya kikabila. Tukiendelea mbele siku tatu ambazo zimebaki tunataka wananchi wakae kwa amani wasihame makwao na mimi nataka niambie watu nakuru it's very important to make peace because even Matthew 5:9 that will be a blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God so tunaomba watu wa maintain peace so that elections zikuwe poa actually kuna life after election zamani hapo kidogo watu walikuwa wanachagua vyama vya kisiasa lakini kwa wakati huu wananchi wameamua wanaangalia viongozi kokote waliko ili waweze kuwaweka katika ofisi za kazi na watendee kazi kwa kipindi kijazo cha miaka mitano. Chichi Josephine TV 47 on to security matters, Turkana leaders have condemned the recent spate of attacks which have been witnessed in Turkana East and South constituencies, which have left 13 people dead in the past one week. Speaking in Kakuma, Turkana West Sub-County and former Cabinet Secretary John Munez asked the government to clearly mark off the boundaries between Port Turkana and Baringo counties. Turkana South Member of Parliament, James Lomenen has, however, urged the government to compensate the victims whose houses were torched as the tension continues to escalate in the area. incentive. no motivation. Wakubaliane boundary kwa wapi. Na tuanzo kuweka bawa ya kuonyesha kwa mba you are now entering West Pogot, Baringo, or Turkana. Iyo last night wafajika na mnaya. Kasi ya serikali, yote kwa hii dunia, hata serikali ya Kenya. Kasi ya serikali ni kuchunga mali ya watu na maisha ya watu. Kwa dhali, tunapo elekea uchaguzi, yumanine ujao. Ni naomba kuwa mba sehemu hizo zipate kupatiwa askari wa kutosha ili watu wetu wapate kutekeleza haki yao ya kupiga kura. Now, detectives in Thika Town have arrested a 36-year-old woman for allegedly stealing a five 
a day old baby in Thika town. Speaking at Thika police station last evening, the baby's mother, 33 year old Dorcas Kivuva, revealed she met Joyce Wamaida, the prime suspect, when she was seven months pregnant. When they started sharing about life challenges, the suspect is said to have trapped the mother of the child by offering to take care of her while in hospital, where she devised a plan on how to steal her baby on the day she was discharged from the hospital. Hospital to Katoka Kang Gate. A can be a trend of hotel you nikule nikienda. Kwen ya turienda to kanda to kangia upo. Iyo tell ya mi mwanya si ku jua kama ykona si si if you nini sidi me mwamini sana ju nikona kindonda kwa tumba mimi ni wa si yes. Singe beba mtoto kwa even ya rikua na meni bebe ya mtoto. Ah uh, nos gepeda kusema ya kwamba jana to le zipoto ya kwapa kuna mtoto, ambaye zadua pale hospital ya vika, level five hospital na aliweza kuibiwa hapa town masaa ya jioni na tulipopata hiyo ripoti tulianzisha uchunguzi kuanzia leo asubuhi tuliamkia na tukaweza kupata mtoto na mwenye kumuiba upande wa Muranga mahali inaitwa Kabiti kwa wakati huu tunaendelea kuonji mwenye tumepata na mtoto ndio tuweze kujua <coughs> alikuwa na nia gani ya kuiba mtoto now that report takes us to a very short break. We will be right back with more to keep it right here. You are watching TV 47, the home of untold stories. Tricent School of Medical Health Science and Technology is a premier training institute for market-driven courses with state-of-the-art facilities, competent and dedicated members of staff, and linkages with the medical industry, you are assured of a bright future when you study with us. Enroll today in our campuses at Juja, Nairobi West, Kisumu, and Homa Bay. Hi, my name is Abubakar Abdullahi, CEO of TV47. First, thank you for making us Kenya's fastest growing television. Secondly, on the 9th of August, we will get a chance to exercise our democratic right to elect our leaders. We will get a chance to elect a member of county assembly, a member of parliament, a senator, a governor, and ultimately a president who will govern the country for the next five years. I call upon you all Kenyans to exercise that day with the rights enshrined in the constitution and treat that day as a very normal day. Cast your ballot, go home, wait for the results. Here in journalism and in media we tell our reporters that there is no story worth dying for. I would like to remind you my fellow Kenyan that there is no politician worth dying for. And indeed, Kenya is bigger than all of us. Usia kubalia maumivu ya misuli kukatiza ratiba yako. Kaluma Pain Balm ni dawa ya kusugua ili otengenezo kutoka kwa miche malum ili kutuliza maumivu ya misuli. Kaluma Pain Balm. Shhh. Maumivu ya kizidi, pata ushauri wa daktari.